Okay, then I would say let's get started. Hi, and uh, welcome to our first learning sneak preview live session, introducing the SAP Analytics Cloud Story and Application Design Learning Journeys. I'm Dilara, and I'm going to do the technical moderation today. Just some quick information for, te for the technical part. So as you already noticed, you will not be able to turn on your webcams or to unmute yourself. But don't worry, in the Q&A tab down below, you will be able to ask some questions. This live session will be recorded, but we will cut out the Q&A part in the recording. Please notice that our expert Norman Way will introduce the learning journey, design data models and transform data in SAP Analytics Cloud in another learning sneak preview live session on the 15th of May. So free, free, free to join this one as well. Another point that I would like to mention is that you will find on learningsap.com under the learning journey some Q&A and deep dive live sessions. With the Q&A live sessions, you can gain answers to questions arising from your self-study, expert deep dive live sessions, fill knowledge gaps on specific topics which are difficult to grasp or additional topics that are not included in the learning journeys. So that was actually from my side. Now I, now I would pass my words to our expert, Martha. Thank you. Thank you, Delara. Welcome everyone. And uh, I, let's get started right here. Um, I just want to introduce us all to the learning journey specifically for analytics cloud story creation and kind of guide you through the various resources that you have available to you. So let me start sharing my screen here. And uh, Dalara referred to uh, learning.sap.com. This is where you can find all of our currently existing learning journeys. And I will just preface this <laughs> brief little demonstration uh, with the uh, knowledge that more and more learning journeys are being added, um, maybe not every day, but at least um, on a fairly regular basis, at least every week. And you can begin simply by exploring our learning journeys. Uh, we can post the, the website learning.sap.com. We can post that URL for you all a little bit later here at the end of our session. And we do have a nice search engine. So if I were looking for the uh, stories related course, I could just type um, SAP Analytics Cloud. I know SAP likes to use acronyms. But uh, when you're searching in, on our sites, it's probably best to use the actual long name. So here, that's all I ended up having to type. And you can see we have a few different learning journeys currently available. Um, this is the learning journey that Norman Way will be discussing with you in just a couple of weeks or we'll be discussing. Um, but this is the one that we wanna focus on, exploring SAP Analytics Cloud with story design. So you simply click on that learning journey. All of our learning journeys have a very similar format. Um, this very, very first video is simply uh, a, a very, very, very high level overview of what you can expect to find in the class. It goes into a little bit more details than the overview and the learning objectives, but not too much more detail. You can play that video, or if you already know that I, I definitely am interested in this learning journey, you simply scroll down and you can immediately get started. And I'm going to find a, a nice introductory thing to, to show you. You can see a, a nice little overview of what is in each learning or each unit. And what's great about the learning journey is you are able to simply search for the topic that you're most interested in. So, for example, uh, if this is the wrong class that I'm in. Sorry, this is our foundation class. 
but a little bit further down, we get into our stories. There we go, getting started with stories and more on that in just a second. So you can, like I was saying, you can uh, find just little bite-sized pieces of things. So for example, if you're um, most interested in, um, oh, how do I manipulate data in stories? And oh, I can do filtering, I can blend data. Or you can go from start to finish, top to bottom through the entire learning journey. I'm gonna go here to the blending data in models and just give you a little sneak preview of what you can expect, what are some of the things you can expect to find. Um, some of our learning journeys do make you read some things, but we do have interactive elements as well. We also have simulated exercises. So you would be able to uh, not actually do an exercise as if you were in an SAP classroom, but really kind of the next best thing to that. And so you're given instructions and guidance throughout, what am I supposed to do? Okay. That does open in a new tab. But we also have an option if you choose to access an actual live training system. And I'll show you where you can find that access here in just a second. I'm, I'm actually going to hop back up here to an earlier one because I know there's a fun little interactive element. once it loads, <laughs> here we go. So some of the interactivity can be something as simple as maybe you'd see a bulleted list of something, but then you need more information about what's in each of those elements. Others are, well, what does this button do? Might be some call outs. But then we also have, if I can find it, here we go. Some, so you can also have access to very, very short, most of them are uh, no more than three minutes. I believe in this particular learning journey, most of them are, are two minutes or less. Very, very short actual demonstration videos. If you've ever taken a class uh, from SAP that's an instructor-led class, either a virtual class or you've gone to an SAP training facility, you know that a, pretty much every instructor uses a lot of demonstrations of whatever the tool is that they're teaching. Uh, because really, that's why you're there, right? And you want to, to be able to see exactly, well, what button do I click to do this particular task? And our learning journeys incorporate that same type of knowledge transfer method there. Okay, so the whole idea here is that these learning journeys are very, very hands-on. You can have some hands-on activities. This particular learning journey on the SAP Analytics Cloud Stories actually covers two different uh, instructor-led training courses. It covers the introductory course, which is simply getting started with SAP Analytics Cloud, and all of the various um, high level features of SAP Analytics Cloud. But then it does a little bit more deeper dive into story design, designing those SAP Analytics Cloud stories, or a lot of people call them reports or dashboards. And then once you complete this entire learning journey, you should be prepared 
to take the SAP Analytics Cloud certification exam. And on our learning journey, you can get certified. So you can see the various certifications that are available to you. You can search again, just like you could search for the learning journey itself. And this is the exam that you would be prepared, preparing for. Now, this is a very timely session that we're having here in early May because this exam will be changing uh, in the first part of June. And it will be changing so that the exam covers only the story part of this particular learning journey. So in other words, the learning journey that I'm sharing with you today is going to be changing. So let me go back and just give everyone kind of a heads up here. Okay, so this learning journey, explore SAP Analytics Cloud with story design. Okay. I believe the title will, will remain the same. However, as I just mentioned, currently it actually consists of two different courses, instructor-led courses, the SAP Analytics Cloud Foundation, and then the SAP Analytics Cloud Story Design. Starting in, uh, I believe it's mid-June, so I think it's the third week of June this year, this particular learning journey will consist only of the SAP Analytics Cloud story design information and the certification exam will be updated to reflect that. You can still get a badge for this cloud analytics cloud foundation learning journey. So there will have we'll end up having two separate learning journeys rather than just one single learning journey. One for the uh, SAP Analytics Cloud Foundation, you'll get a badge or you have the option to get a badge for that learning journey. And then a totally different learning journey for SAP Analytics Cloud Story Design. Okay, and if you do have any questions about that upcoming change, please post them in the Q&A. But I just want to be clear there. Right now, it's it's one single learning journey, but in little little more than a month now, it will end up being we'll have two separate learning journeys. Now, Delara mentioned that uh, in our learning journeys, you do have an opportunity to join some other possible live sessions. So once you find your learning journey, still on learning.sap.com, you can click on the live sessions and you can see we've got some Q&A live sessions that Delara alluded to and some expert more deep dive sessions. The Q&A sessions are, are great because since this is all online learning, unlike an SAP virtual class, um, if you have a question, if you, if you read something or if you experience something in a hands-on activity uh, simulation that you just don't quite understand, you can always join one of the live sessions and you really will have access to one of our SAP Analytics Cloud instructors. You can ask any questions that you have. And we have many, many different live sessions coming up, uh, different time zones. So you can see that they, on different dates, we have different times. So we're trying to accommodate the world as best as, uh, as best we can. And then we have some deep dive sessions scheduled as well. All right.
Again, you can see what certification is available to you. And then finally, I alluded to this as well, you can have access to an actual hands-on training system, the same type of training system that you would use if you were actually taking an instructor-led class. And so you would just link to that particular training system. Everything is all set up for you. You can either use the training system for sort of your, your uh, own exploration. You'll notice it takes you to the learning hub. And in SAP's learning hub, you have access to uh, the actual course manual that is used in an SAP instructor-led training class. So you could actually see the hands-on exercises, get a PDF of those, and follow in your live system, follow the exercise steps. Or like I said, you can always just sort of play on your own if you're that type of a learner. I'm not gonna go ahead and enroll in this because I don't wanna take up resources that are fairly precious. <laughs> but it's a fairly straightforward process. Right? So just to summarize all of these things and various links that I've shown you, let me close up some of these things here. On learning.sap.com, you can get access to all of our learning journeys, navigating through a particular learning journey is fairly straightforward. I tend to scroll more quickly than I should, just in general. Even near the bottom of the learning journey, you, you can have access to the live sessions, we even have uh, other links to maybe relevant learning journeys. You also have an opportunity to register for an actual instructor-led training class if you prefer that. And again, any certifications. Okay. And you can even view sample questions for the certification. Now, these are questions, they're, they're not on the exam, but you can view the sample questions and just get a feel for how you should study for the exam based on what some of the sample questions are that you see. Okay. And I would say thank you, Martha, for this awesome presentation.